All right, people ask me uh, often what um, what kind of specs should I use and what kind of characters tune should I level up for raiding when multiboxing. Um, I can only speak about the vanilla WoW server, the VG uh, vanilla gaming server. I think it crosses over to um, other servers, but um, I'll tell you I'll tell you what I recommend. I recommend you target 40 boxing if you have the computer hardware for it. And if you do have the computer hardware for 40 boxing, you need to plan on having um, two or three warrior tanks and one or two uh, druid or pally tanks. Um, you need two druid tanks um, to run two teams of 20 in ZG because Druid tanks are actually useful in ZG on some of the fights. Um, you do need warrior tanks to do your heavy lifting though. So make sure you start with leveling a warrior. Now, what about DPS? Well, I can tell you that my DPS um, focuses com almost completely on ranged. Um, I do have uh, some rogues and I have experimented with Enhancement Shaman um, and I have no Fury Warriors. I am told that Fury Warriors are very handy as you get into the harder raids and you, that you should have four Fury Warriors or so in a 40 man group. Well, I have zero. Um, all my Warriors are tanks. So, so what, what shall we say then? Um, I like Warlocks. Right? I'm a big, big fan of Warlocks. If I have five Warlocks, if I had ten, I would not be upset. Warlocks are amazing in multiboxing because they never run out of mana. If you have your healing sorted out, they will keep the Warlocks up as the Warlocks life tap. Um, they also, when you're kind of a, a younger, newer multiboxer, they have pets. Pets that can really off tank. They can tank things and prevent you from dying. Um, yeah, Warlocks are amazing. They also have Hellfire, which is an AoE that I use a lot uh, to clear um, stacks of mobs. So Warlocks should be way up there in your list of things to level. Mages have to be in your raid, all right? Um, you have to have a couple of mages, at least one mage to make water. The more, the better. Um, People aren't, aren't going to understand this, but I love hunters. I have five hunters in my 40-man raid. Hunters are fantastic. Hunters, when uh, everybody else is out of mana, hunters continue to shoot. Hunters keep um, uh, a steady stream of physical damage going to your target at all times. Um, they also provide the, the raid valuable buffs. Uh, they throw a hunter's mark on the target. Um, uh, it, I, they have pets, you know, that can off tank. Uh, I don't usually do that anymore, but when I was first starting out, I was farming ZG with five hunters only. Five hunters, you can farm mobs, you can farm packs in ZG. So I like hunters. Um, I like them a lot, but I don't necessarily recommend everybody to have a whole bunch of hunters. Um, they, you do have to buy ammo for them. There are some downsides. They have ra minimum range, um, but I have a very soft spot for them. Uh, enhancement Shaman are useless for the most part. Um, elemental Shaman are fantastic as far as burst damage goes, but they do run out of mana quite fast, and they pull aggro like mad. Rogues are amazing. Um, but they are melee, and you do have to get savvy to move them around with the one key uh, in my system. And rogues can do a lot of damage, but there are a lot of fights where you want to leave everybody back. And so rogues aren't helping in that fight. You know, the snake boss in um, ZG, you want to leave everybody back in phase one. Um, the rogues aren't helping there. So... Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like rogues. My rogues probably do the most single target damage um, of anybody in my raid, my, at least my, my crook shanks. Um, 
So Druids, Moonkins, I really have a soft spot for. I had some Moonkins in my raid. I got rid of them. I changed them into Healing Druids. Um, healing Druids are amazing healers. They just are. I don't let them regrowth. I only let them Living Touch, and um, they're fantastic. But the real uh, Heavy Lift Lifter healers are Priests. At least if you're on Horde, on, on Alliance it would be Paladins. But on Horde... Priests, you should try to have a priest in every single group. All right, you, you want to have a shaman in every group, and you want a priest in every group if you can do it. Shaman for the totems, because remember, totems are party based, and priest because they are just the flat out best healers in the game. That's about all I got for you. Um, hopefully, you can at least get to 20 boxes, uh, a normal. Um, computer that's less than uh, two years old, three years old, will run 20 boxes, no problem. Uh, so hopefully you'll be running ZG in no time. And check out my videos for how to kill some of the bosses in ZG. Um, gear is a factor, but not, um, not completely. Look at my first boss kill. I had no gear. Some of my guys were wearing whites. Some of my guys were wearing nothing in slots. So uh, you can kill a boss in ZG uh, with my system, even if you have no gear at all.